In this video, we will discuss the PID Embedded Setup window in the XG5000 programming software. This tool allows for fast setup of the initial control loop parameters. From the project tree, expand the menu to the internal parameter window to make visible the PID loop setup. Double click the PID loop setup selection to open the embedded PID loop setup window. The embedded PID window will open. From here you have access to the basic setup parameters for each loop. These parameters are also available as variables. The allowable range for each parameter is shown in the lower left of the setup window. The operational mode sets the loop for auto or manual operation. Operational loop direction is set for forward or reverse control. Secondary anti-windup is also known as integral windup or reset windup and may be enabled or disabled. The derivative term calculation may be performed using the PV or current error value. Pulse width modulation is enabled if using a transistor output in the PLC to time proportion a digital output. The initial set point value is entered if desired. The scan period is the frequency of the loop calculation. The resolution is 0.1 millisecond. The proportional, integral, and derivative term values are displayed as a mantissa and exponent. The value is entered in a decimal format. The delta PV limit is changed when necessary to prevent rapid PV changes per scan period. The delta MV is the amount of change per scan cycle the MV can output. The MV min and max values set the range the MV can output. The manual MV sets the MV output limit when the loop is in manual operation. The deadband setting value forces the MV output to zero when the PV is within the set window on either side of the SV. The set filtering coefficient, also known as the derivative filter, is used when the PV is rapidly oscillating or noisy. The PWM contact assigns a discrete transistor PLC output to the MV when the PWM output is enabled. The PWM output period sets the output frequency of the digital output. The resolution is 1 millisecond. SV ramp increases the SV each scan cycle. Set PV tracking forces the SV to the current PV when switching the loop to automatic operation. The min and max PV sets a value range for the PV in PID loop operation regardless of the actual PV value. The settings made in the PID setup window must be downloaded to the PLC. These parameters are not sent to the PLC during the configuration. The embedded PID loop setup is useful for fast initial PID parameter setup. The control of the PID loop is done with the PLC and most often in conjunction with an operator interface. PID auto tuning, basic manual tuning, and ladder programming for loop control is covered in other videos in this series. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.